Okay, this is Mrs. Lawanda D. Um, I have um, done redid uh, my daughter's locks. Re, I, what I decided to do was to latch hook them. I mean, I'll crochet the tips and uh, latch hook the um, the roots. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for now. And so this is how you know it's looking so far. I'll take pictures in the end because I just want to get hurried up. But I'll show you. I, did, I left one at the end for you to show you how I do it. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So all I'm doing is just putting some shea butter cream on on it. And with this this hair, you just um, it's going to be frizzy. You're not going to get it to lay like you would you know black hair um so that's just something i i do recognize um <clears throat> so now i'm just gonna do the latch hook like i showed you before <clears throat> some of them didn't need to be retightened so if they didn't need to then i wasn't going to um But so far, it's, you know, it's looking pretty good because um, she slept on it. And um, it still looked like it's, it looked good the next day. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, crochet hook. And it is a number 8, 1.5 millimeter and I use that let's see you see these stray strands I'm just gonna wrap those around my finger to get a good grip on them and then I'm going to go through her, her lock and then just wrap the hair around it and pull through if I get some resistance I'll just go through a smaller piece of her hair I know it's kind of hard to show you and then I'll just wrap it around again and I'll keep doing that up the whole hair strand until until the whole hair is the whole strand loose strands are covered and it makes her hair look a lot neater I'm coming at a weird angle so I'm having trouble um, let me turn this way so I'm having trouble getting a man like I have been. <clears throat> but I just wanted to show how I decided to update, I mean, um, refresh her hair. Okay. Unfortunately, it takes a long time, so we seeing how we handle this. So now, <clears throat> I ordered this off of eBay. This is a number 10 0.75 millimeter crochet hook. It's got a comfort uh, grip and it doesn't hurt your hand at all. This stabs and as I was doing this to, to do the crocheting, I, you can see my cuticle is swollen. I was actually digging under my cuticles and going underneath my thumbnail. So that was for the birds. So what I decided to do was I ordered this on eBay and then I ordered these rubber thimbles trust me it's worth it <laughs> and then so i'm doing this upside down but keep the the actual hook towards you these help because it's got the, the black part is where the hook is actually let me take this off i'll work slowly so i don't stab myself and you're just going to in, the hair that's in between your fingers just pull up on it and then turn you just turn a little bit and then you just pull up some loops and it's causing, it's creating little loops in the hair, which creates the lock. And of course, each one is different as to how much I have to do this. But so far, I'm only having to do the tips. Um, for now, because I, I latched with all the other hair. <clears throat> I 
and it just really has taken me quite some time to get this done. So it's it's kind of way mo a lot more work than I had anticipated because I can't just palm roll it. I do a little bit of palm rolling at the end, but um, okay. And so what you want to do once you get to the tip. This, I'll try to show you is all I do is you just curve the tips up okay and then you're just gonna let me get my hand at the right angle the non stabbing angle and you just kind of crochet at an angle because you want to pull the tips of the tip in okay I don't go crazy about it. Um, I'll get, you know, the majority of it in. See, it's pretty much mostly in. And then I'll go back to my larger hook. I found that working with the bigger hook to pull in the hairs helped um, me. So, but I'm just, all I'm doing is catching the hair. I'm just going in through the, the, the lock grabbing the straight hairs and pulling them in and um, so so that's that's pretty much how it looks and then for the finish I will go over some more with the cream and it's good because it's light it dissolves and it's gonna wash out okay and I, I make this myself. If you want the recipe, you can go to Natural 85's website. I mean, our channel. So I put it on the tips. Now I'm just going to roll it in my palm. I'm just going to rub it back and forth. Melt it in there a little bit. And see how it turns out. So, and that actually goes that direction. So, but this is her, her hair. And uh, we'll turn her. So that you can see her hair. My battery is about to go, so. But this is how her hair looks. And it's looking like locks now. And uh, hopefully this will last longer than what I did earlier. And I think it will. So thank you for watching.